uh, I think that may not be the right one. So the poor network and poor connectivity of this rural India, even though we have the mentality, spirituality, or other things, but due to this infrastructure problem and network connectivity, we are not able to be considered at par with Calcutta, Chennai, Delhi, Mumbai, and others, a one city like that. So let me uh, carry on. So this Sotsuddhi, perhaps you might have listened to me, that Sotsuddhi is basically nothing but a kind of uh, this uh, a PDS, plagiarism detection software. Login Urkundi is here also. I think you have heard it hard up to this. Then let me switch over to next. This is called Bidhan Database. By this Bidhan Database, every academician, every research scholars need to be registered invariably. By here, this is registration page, and it is full free. And you see, after registration here, you will get more than 53,000 experts. On I am sure that on your subject, you will get more than 1,000 experts throughout India and globe. Then also organizations, 58,848. 5, then more than uh, around 8 lakh citations also is there. So if you are coming here like this, you will be part of a research network. So you can ask some questions on your subject expert. You can get answer from there. And if you are expert, you will get answer of scholars from different parts of India. Then you will give answer. So this is a kind of exchange of views platform of research so that researchers will get some sort of insights from different experts which may not be physically known to them. And at the same time, the experts will be able to cater knowledge to the scholars who are or who is not actually physically known to them. So this is a kind of exchange of views and information. Then you see EPG Partsala. EPG Partsala is also a kind of uh, HRDs initiatives and uh, through internet, this is being hosted. So here also different course curricula and uh, material is being uh, available. So anyone can, and this is a student corner, particularly this is for students corner. So students may enroll and they may uh, take insight and they may find out their requirements and they may uh, visit as per their needs. Then you see info port. This is another uh, activities of InfoNet. Uh, actually, this is being uh, given by, again, uh, this major initiatives. This info port means Infinite subject gateway for Indian electronic resources. So this info port means on in different Indian electronic resources is being hosted here. So browse subjects by alphabetic. So anyone can and also browse DDC classification also. Anyone can go by subject tree. Anyone can go by DDC subject classification. Anyone can go by their alphabetic subject list. So these are the three windows through which anyone can start and uh, find out their resources by you now to accelerate their research activities. Okay. Now, this is Edens. Perhaps uh, many of you for the first time heard about this Edens for Indian Research Information Network System. Again, this is the latest activities and creation for the acceleration of research work throughout India is being initiated by InfluentNet. That is called Edens, Indian Research Information Network System. You, everyone can come here and know about Edens. Why Edens, key features of Edens, Edens instances, and contact us. Basically, this has been a uh, brainchild of one Punjab University uh, librarian. The, the, his name and contact number is also in the bottom. So if anyone would like to take some sort of Indian research information network system help, they may come here, they may register here, and they may get some sort of uh, acceleration of their research work. And honestly, tell me that uh, uh, actually, if anyone, just try to log in with these five, six, seven activities of InfluentNet. I am sure that every portal will help the students to submit their thesis at least one month before the planned thesis submission date. I mean, therefore, six window will help you to submit your thesis six months before. And more emphatically, you will be get relaxed. You will be feel free to continue your research activities. And you see, this is National Digital Library Portal. You might be knowing that these are the things and learning resource, subject domain, feature source, and others. There are many resources, more than 5 lakhs resources is being uploaded here, which is being uh, hosted and headquartered is at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, is being catering different sources and, and digitized sources and digitized text full free in here. But this is based on password and registration. And in any Indian university institute is entitled to get login here. And 
uh, and the, the the part of the uh, as part of the academic society students and scholars also able to take part uh, into the uh, national digital library of india then this is national virtual library of india basically national digital library of india is the is under the control of human resource development ministry and this national virtual library of india is a kind of parallel thing if aims and objective are same basic difference is that this ndli is under the control of ministry of culture and ndli is under the con control of ministry of human resource development then home and hill affairs department government west bengal it is actually west bengal state secretary at libraries they have their library and any government scheme any government order everything is being dumped here through its digital library portal and it's a very good sources of information of government information government of west bengal information so anyone can browse for government of uh, west bengal project schemes and other things then this is called west bengal public library network please mute someone i am i am getting noise please mute their uh, sound all participants may i request to mute their audio please mute their audio to help others to get my voice clearly west bengal public library is network you see through here anyone will get ample of resources and this may be browsed by subject and other things here so sign on to its full free anyone can uh, go here and from rabindra rachanavali to others regional language uh, old and rare books and journals is being digitized and is uploaded it's a ample resources are here and i think particularly history and language literature the scholars and teachers will be immensely benefited by logging to west bengal public library network database then this is a called tagore uh, tagorewave.in here you will get tagore's all verses songs novels stories plays essays and others is being details and uploaded here so right today one cannot ask me nimaida where can i get this song where can i get this novel it is now available though lockdown is going on so our music library is off so my central library is off so this tagor showcase is open to you all you can go there you can uh, download the particular song particular uh, prose particular words particular stories short stories etc then this is a, a gandhi sevagram ashram so they are entitled to cater the complete uh, collections of gandhi and video and other things through their portal to uh, to to uh, uh, to cater the philosophy the knowledge the educational aspects social reform social reformation and ideology of gandhi ji throughout the globe so this is gandhi sevagram ashram this is their portal and anyone can take entry here and ample of resources you will get this is a single basket you will get on uh, gandhi information simply come here then open access tools for research what is reference management software i think two of my colleagues has already been uttered and they have demonstrated particularly uh, jotero and uh, mendeley so these two are the free software they have given uh, demonstration and in our next course of action we will try to take uh, end note though end note is not free but if uh, some vendor uh, one vendor they are giving it free if we are through the isot sin portal so the uh, library those were the member of isot sindhu they will get the end note so in that content in context end note is free and also end note is not free so that's why we have just demonstrated in our first session this uh, uh, mendeley and jotero which is full source code free and end note uh, we will take into our next so you see this is the cost refers jotero end note mendeley citation c so these are the comparative table higher from anyone can get the source originator pricing and other things and requirement all these things is being uh, simply noted here then you see comp comparison chart platform n note mendeley peppers red cube uh, reps works and zero there are many softwares more than 20 softwares are there and i am also enlisting here a lot you see these are also this 14 are also uh, may be reliable may not be reliable may be good may be bad but based on that jbra miley weekend dx deep test rep base bibliosnomy or uh, source d site v site for me and many this 14 uh, let me just keep i am not reading and for your help i am giving all the url crs ready made so you can uh, go around and take a inside of the urls to view how jrep is working like that and this is why use a reference software 
because yeah. of yeah. consistent yeah. citation yeah. style, increased volume of scientific yeah. literature, yeah. create yeah. error-free yeah. bibliography, yeah. export yeah. references into yeah. document, search, yeah. sort, and share yeah. references, yeah. cite file you write, and single electronic storage location. Yeah. So yeah. these are the yeah. seven uh, utilities yeah. or yeah. objectives yeah. or uh, you say yeah. merits for which we will use this reference management software. And I'm sure if anyone is able to handle this reference management software, anyone, he or she will be able to submit his thesis at least one and two months earlier than his or her plan period. Then you see, there are many precision detection, detection software. I'm not sparing time because these things I have been uh, cited in earlier days. So this is the free and this is the uh, corporate. And this Urkund is green because within the red it is green. Because this Urkund is a uh, paid software, but in India, through uh, InfibNet, this Urkund is full free to every Indian institute. But as I told earlier days, yesterday I have received some question on Urkund. Let me clear about that. Other than Vishwabharati fraternity, if anyone send their file to my colleagues or to me, we will check it up and send back to report to you all. And also, the fraternity of Vishwabharati, particularly teachers, they all are having their own accounts through which they can check the students' dissertation and scholars' uh, thesis and their own academic creation by using their Urkund account. If anybody is not being activated from Vishwabharati fraternity, particularly I am saying it to uh, the teachers and faculty members respected faculty members so if they request me it will be take a second to me to resend them the link for activation but mind it this activation activation link will last only for 96 hours afterwards it will automatically deactivate it okay so learning management system platform there are many right we are using uh, uh, we are using the Cisco Webex. Since it is a free, it has confinement of 100 joining capacity. Zoom is also a free version, 100 capacity. Google Meet, they have 250. Go Branch has 400. Then AWS, Canvas, Google Plus, Go to Meet, Coursera. Uh, there are many. This Coursera is a kind of paid software. But to, uh, during this uh, lockdown period, due to COVID-19, this most platform, they are, uh, they are offering this Coursera also free. So uh, these are the things through which my respected uh, acad academics, they may download it and they may organize their online class teaching by this. And by this conjuncture, let me utter that one of our colleagues from the Statistics Department, Dr. Chitthankar Ghosh, has developed one, uh, I mean, compiled one URL for this kind of uh, online uh, classes. Uh, on, uh, online assignments, everything is there. That is, he has also catered this through WhatsApp group. So that we also use for our uh, online class and others. Then is the open access tools for research. This OBS Studio also, you know, open broadcaster software. Just few days back, uh, from one of my uh, brotherly students or library, young library professors, I came to know that is none other than Sujan Saha. Uh, he introduced me these things. What is the beauty of this OBS is that, uh, see, uh, we are having limitation of this Kisco OABX, only 100 uh, joining capacity. By this o OBS software, if by using the stream key, we can make Make it instant uh, or living uh, broadcasting of my presentation through YouTube channel, through YouTube channel. Okay. Now you see this is a, a kind of Serpa Romeo website. This Romeo Serpa is a kind of self archiving tools, self archiving website. How to do a particular publishers and how to give them uh, give us a permission being author whether I can upload my uh, journal article after publishing in a paid journal, after publishing in a corporate journal in the university or in his or her own blogs or he knows he, his or her own websites, whether it will be uploaded full text or only abstract version or only bibliographic version. Everything is being available in this Romeo Serpa uh, uh, tools or URLs. So this is the things due to time shortage, let me add it to pass these things. This is there that publishers copyright policies and self archiving policies. Then you see about Romeo, what Romeo is going to do that is also is uh, available here. Then this is you see Romeo, this color coding search publishers copyright policies and self archiving by giving this color. So this every color is having different connotation. What uh, this yellow, green, blue stands for. You see this green means can archive, preprint and postprint or publishers version PDF. 
Due to time short, let me skip these things. If anyone asking this question, what is preprint, what is postprint, then I will give uh, taking care on question answering session. Then blue, can archive postprint only or publishers version PDF? Yellow means can archive preprint and white means archiving not formally supported. So these are the four warnings to a particular author by a particular publishers. So before to publishing any article to a particular journal under a particular publishers, I have to know what is the self archiving policy after publishing a journal, uh, after publishing an article into a particular journal, whether I will be able to share it with my colleagues, whether I will be share it through my website, whether I will be able to, uh, to share it through my blogs, is possible or not. So this is needs to be uh, known before to submit and publish any particular article to any particular journal by any particular uh, publisher. So this is Sherpa Romeo statistics. You see, this is the uh, color wise statistics is there. Then you see application program interface, how they are just making uh, application programming uh, programmers interface called API. Unlike our academic performance indicator, not API means that API. Here API means application programs uh, programmers interface. Then it is actually self explanatory No need to go around that. So content page is also there. If you go past content wise, you will get your right information here ready made. Then Romeo's colors. This is the color coding again. Then this is the kind of uh, uh, policy, default policy, uh, kind of uh, academic research group, and this Romeo color, default policies, and journal list. So this is the publishers, and this is the journal list, and this is the default, uh, default policies. So if you click here, policies, then you will go around this, and this is I am taking particularly country, India. So every country-wide, anyone can search by reciting his or her particular state or country. Then you see FAQ, frequently answered questions. Anyone can get about Romeo, coverage, entries. Frequently, we require answer of some questions. So without asking this quick generic question uh, to their contact, you please go around through their FAQ and get the answer of that. And also contact us, how to contact with them, that is also clearly uh, noted here. Then you see Serpa Romeo. Welcome to Serpa Romeo. That is. Uh, uh, then Serpa Romeo is also the version of Serpa Romeo is in its public testing period. Use our survey, use our survey or email to give feedback, report us. Actually, this site will be launched on July 2020. And that's why during this experiment period, they require suggestion and question and advice from our side so that it will be uh, after publication, after landing of the URL, useful to all of us. So every academics, every scholars, uh, let me request you all to go around this Serpa Romeo and try to give your valuable inputs so that this Serpa Romeo can come into a full page website will be helpful to us. Now, this is a funders and authors compliance tool. How to uh, funders, uh, I mean, whether it is paid, whether it is not paid, if it is, then how much it will be. You see here, Friday, 31st of July, 2020, this Serpa Romeo will be come into being full page uploaded. Okay, so before that, it is under experiment period. So anyone can give any any uh, advice for their kind consideration. And Serpa service, what kind of Serpa service is going to be given? Serpa Romeo, Serpa Juliet, Open Door, and many things. It's there, Serpa Romeo, Serpa Juliet, Open Door, Serpa Facts, Serpa APIs. So it's a lovely and very, very handy and useful website and URL. And particularly, this is a kind of unique scholar's tool to start their research, I mean, very simply, properly, and honestly to sustain, to defend themselves for doing any mischiefs. So once, if you go with this Serpa Romeo, then I think even if you have any bad intention, you will not be able to do because of this clear and honest guideline and advice as uh, disseminate by this Romeo Serpa website. Now this is Serpa Juliet, I'm not going around. Serpa fact is also there. Then uh, Serpa reference, how to refer, uh, how to reference compliance will be there. That is also there. Then GTOC, it's a, another sister concern of Serpa Romeo. This GTOC is a monitoring and search service for global research publication. This is a monitoring and search service for global research publication. How to search a particular journal article? how to get it down, whether it is available in uh, it's a, uh, full text or database or bibliographic and other things. So this JTOC is also a kind of very, very useful. And in the Serpa Romeo landing page, you will get the JTOC uh, URL link. 
and also by this uh, uh, slide you will get the jeta uh, jeta click also yeah then speed up literature analysis and comprehensive with the racks yes this is another master tool for the scholars for the academics to go around raxter.io and i am very sorry and i am very uh, you know uh, emotional to uh, uh, showcase this new items before you all though this is not full free but the publisher is very kind enough the authority of raxter is very kind enough on my request they are offering free access for the for the community till 30th june this raxter.io this is a speed up literature analysis and comprehensive comprehension with rex so here any any guide or any scholar create his or her own project box project folder based on that he or she can download various resources like a uh, box like a pen drive and they will get it there and it has been rightly uh, compatible and interlinked with jotero and mindle whenever you using this jotero reference management software or mindle reference management software or that enle uh, end note so it will be automatically this this has the export import uh, mc some sort of convenience so that you will get the downloaded uh, information to that uh, bibliographic information basket of that particular reference management software so it's very very useful and this raxter authority is very kind enough very soon i will notify that raxter is also kind enough to organize one webinar or with all the faculty and scholars i mean fraternity to award and demonstrate how this raxter raxter is going to be handled and so far i have uh, just 5 7 days i am going to be aware about this raxter and i found that it's a very very useful tools for the scholars and academics then aoasg this is actually australian open access strategic group see right from the beginning as i told that whatever available in the free market or open market i cannot baggage it so in australia there is a australian open access strategic group they have formulated and they have decided what is to be taken what is not to be taken what will be the evaluation criteria for the australian citizen to steer up a particular research project to steer up a particular uh, book publication project to steer up a particular article publication project so this is particularly australian country but sometimes someone has to start from some point of time with the help of some on foreign country so let's share with the aoasg to extend our knowledge surface to extend our knowledge domain to qualitative research to ensure qualitative education to qualitative uh, to ensure quality impact of qualitative education and uh, escalate the good rank in nirf ranking in uh, nac uh, peer team visit and many other things and you see this is the uh, uh, aosg's uh, logo so they are having they are the 3 5 8 8 so i mean facets and this is their logo and this is again open that is why log is open okay so anyone can take login and browse and enhance their knowledge definitely then you see the analysis factor pspp the free open source version of spss many a times i found that the scholars particularly in social science they're coming before me that imaida how can we analyze our data many times i found that no software is required anyone can do even by using excel and other things but spss is a very costly software we are not able to procure that software for my scholars but what i today going to showcase is that a miniature version of uh, this spss is freely available anyone can download and use for their analysis to a limited extent and also for vishu bharati we are having one more purchase software called statcraft department of statistics so scholars may go and request the head of the department and other teachers to access for analyzing their data and also one professor from agricultural statistics department professor digvijay singh dakre he has developed one statistical analysis uh, url which is also interlinked in my library home page so the scholars of vishwabharati and others also this is available in also uh, their portal so anyone can use these statistical tools for analyzing their uh, their research uh, data and others 
without uh, blindly uh, sitting that yes without a spaces my data cannot be uh, analyzed that's not true what i just going to say is now this is uh, i am just going to say you all that uh, compared to uh, whatsapp just few days back i going to accustom this telegram telegram is a kind of apps uh, uh, in at part though this is not directly associated with the research but this is nowadays we are just transmitting very various in academic information through whatsapp but i found there is a limitation let me utter the story that whatsapp is a limited uh, group capacity is 256 is the particularly adding capacity in a particular group so if it is 257 i have to create separate group for the same uh, persons like we saw the faculty we are having more than 500 uh, faculty members so i opened one group and one by two days 256 member i have added and then i have to add one more group then the main purpose of unique umbrella of particular faculty members i am not able to do by using whatsapp but the solution is giving me this telegram telegram the super uh, version is having 2 lakhs limited capacity 2 lakhs person i can add in a group 5000 i can add in a group like that so i found that telegram is much faster much user friendly than whatsapp and also uh, by a, by a, by by whatsapp some days back one of my teachers from history department and sangeet babu from music department they told me nimaida we are catering 16 minutes video to my students because uh, whatsapp is not able to transmit more than 16 minutes video by its file size and other things but this telegram is compatible to transmit 1.5 gb at a time so you see uh, kind of 2 hours or maybe 1 and 1 uh, hours 30 minutes video you can transmit like a small cinema you can transmit instantly uh, through this uh, on telegram so i am requesting my particularly visor the factor fraternity scholars and teachers to download from uh, google play store this telegram and it is nothing complicated almost at par with the whatsapp but one lax is lying with this telegram compared to whatsapp what is that whatsapp is allowing us to call the video call but this telegram is not allowed this video call that's the only limitation compared to the whatsapp and telegram but all other there is a positive side of telegram then whatsapp so please by this time you can use parallelly both of them and considering the growing needs of the academic society i think telegram uh, authority will also take a decision that they will uh, try to introduce this video call uh, like uh, at par with whatsapp so these are the major features of telegram i am just from one to reverse rendering 17 that maximum file size to transmit 1.5 gb maximum group number group member maybe 2 lakhs and these are the other features 15 features of telegram and you see there are many countries due to different shortcomings of whatsapp they banned that is cuba syria iran uae china north korea they have banned to use this kind of uh, whatsapp now uh let me hurry to finish it up what is citation index i'm not going it uh, up this is a kind of uh, issue or agenda of separate presentation of one hour because nowadays everything we are citation index h index item index g index impact factor calculation and many things so today i am just giving you one example due to shortage of time i have, i will skip in so how to calculation how to do calculation of impact factor so what is citation index a citation index is a kind of bibliographic index and index of citation between publications along the along with uh, the users to easily establish which latter document site which earlier documents nothing but h index what is h index h index is a number intended to represent both the productivity and the impact of a particular scientist or a scholar or a group of scientists or a scholars such as departmental or research group let me give example the h index is calculated by continuing the number of publications for which an author has been cited by other authors at least that same number of times for instance an h index of 17 means that the scientist has published at least 17 papers that have each been cited at least 17 times therefore 17 papers must to be cited 17 times if the scientist 
18th most cited publication was cited only 10 times, the H index would remain at 70. If the scientist 18th most cited publication was cited 18 or more times, then H index would rise to 18 or more. So this is a very common thing. But sometimes this handy information, lacks of this sometime, uh, lacks of this handy information, once may not justify what is H index. So it will be determined in your desktop. Then I10 index, G index. So I10 index is, indicates the number of papers a research scholars has published, which has 10 or more citations in general. Then G index proposed by Leo Egg in his paper, Theory and Practice of G index 2006 as an improvement to the H index. The G index gives more weight to highly cited articles. To calculate G index, uh, this is the uh, methods we can uh, take that ranked in decreasing order of the number of citation that they received. The G index is the largest number such that the top G article received at least altogether G square citation. If my obligation is four, so citation will be four into four square, that is called four uh, 16. Okay. So what are the advantage? What are the disadvantage? It is also uh, noted here. Then this is more important. Let me say that how we can calculate the journal impact factor uh, in a particular point of time. Let's say I am just standing that in the year 2016, and I am going to uh, going to calculate the impact factor of a particular journal. So I have to take sites in 2016 to item published in 2015, 5598, and 2014, 3754. So in the year 2016, out of 2015 and 2015, altogether, citation uh, actually uh, sites is being 9,352. Number of paper published in the year 2015-26, I mean 26 papers cited in five, more than 5,000 times, and 24 papers uh, uh, cited in more than 3,000 times. So altogether, 50 papers is being cited 9,000. 352 times. So calculation will be sites to recent times 9,352 divided by the number of recent times that is 50. So this is 187.04 is the impact factor of that particular journal. So it's a very common and easy method anyone can do by any point of time. So this is very interesting. It will be handy. Many scholars sometimes face a crisis. How uh, kind of things and he, all these things, particularly this presentation. I request you all to download in your uh, desktop so that it will be helped to a lot instantly whenever you need. Now, uh, let me uh, quit this online because uh, everything I have demonstrated very clearly through the offline presentation because I am always confusing since I am a uh, rural uh, Indians, I'm always uh, having some sort of uh, doubtfulness whether my network will uh, working or not. If time would have been permitted, then definitely I will show it. But as every URL is there, you can uh, have witnessed whether this URL is being working or not. So don't worry. And soon after my presentation, the PDF version of this PPT presentation will be given to you all. And uh, definitely I'm very much interested to say interact uh, with you all sometimes. And uh, since today is our closing session, and at the least in last, uh, I have to again speak Five, six minutes to address you all that's why uh, i am hurried to uh, to the reach conclusion of my presentation see in conclusion i may request to global level academic society be a student be a scholar be an administrator be an faculty members open mind open knowledge open society this should be our slogan nothing is mine Everything is for the society because you see the 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 one scholar if he or she is receiving any GRA for SRF that is paid by any government. The salary and other infrastructure is also giving salary means salary of the guides and supervisors too. And also the infrastructure lab, building, AC, electricity, everything is paid by the government. Then how? The research will be mine. So I have been instructed and given the responsibility by the government to carry out this research for the government, for the national development, to ensure the global development. So nothing is mine. This idea and this thought would have been earlier days. Whenever a particular academician published a particular paper, 
it would have been under Godrej Almeida double lock and key, like locker in the bank. So right today, open mind, open knowledge, open society will be our only, only and only slogan and ways to sustain and to survive and to develop our nation. And this is the pictorial presentation, a symbolic presentation. This is the sky and this is a symbolic open of a book. So this is open. Knowledge is available in the sky and cloud. It's our duty to disseminate and to retrieve both. In one way, we are that the disseminated, and another way, we are that uh, receiver or retriever of the resources. So resources are freely available in the web, in the cloud. It's our duty to, uh, to, to choose, to select, to evaluate, to get particular resources in a given point of time. And last but not least, thank you all for listening me uh, with this uh, almost one hour, 20 minutes, uh, minus plus late time and disturbing times in post times, uh, three, four, five minutes in mid. So thanks for careful listening and patience and bothering to me. And let me now open up this session uh, for question answer. And this fellow will be communicated in future through this mail and also this WhatsApp number. And let me request you all, I may not take up all the questions because I know this presentation would have left many questions. So please post your questions to the chat box. Everyone, I cannot directly interact, but through your chat box, my host will take questions and I will give answer. And even by time constraint, if I'm not able to give answers by sitting right now through mail and through uh, sometimes, definitely I will give answer to your questions. Now let me open it up for uh, a kind of not say question answering session, rather say discussion or interaction with you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nimaida, for your very nice and very informative session. Now the session has been open for the question answering. So uh, due to the time constraint, we cannot take many more questions. So we can take only three or four questions here, and the rest of the question which you have raised in your our chat box will reply with your mail. Or you can also contact uh, your questions through the email address uh, on the Nimai uh, Chansara email address. You can also contact him. Please raise your question one by one so that we can clear clear. Start the question. Uh, dear host, Ajay, just mute all of them. Who will ask? You just unmute, request him to unmute. Any question? Sir, I've got a question. I'm Shantina Datta. Can I ask? Uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, sir, is it possible for an individual to buy a corporate plagiarism software? Because I've heard that an individual cannot buy, only the institutions can buy it. Plagiarism uh, corporate. Uh, OK, OK. What is the name of your institute? Nobobaligonj Mohamidala. It's a college under uh, Calcutta University. OK. So uh, most likely, you have not heard my first presentation on 6th on Urkund, OK? I humbly request you, don't reinforce your college to purchase any corporate software. That is completely meaningless, OK? You can contact with your uh, Calcutta University library. And whatever publication done by your uh, teachers or you too, for thesis, for books, for any other things. Send the PDF file to your university librarian. They will check and send back to you report. OK. And okay. if they are not doing, you are welcome to send it to me and my team. We will send back to you report. See, madam, actually, nowadays, India and this post-COVID period, I think rupees five is having immense value. Many people are not getting food. So don't waste your money. Don't waste your fund for these things because 
whatever software you can purchase that will be meaningless to indian penal code your judgment your penalty will be escalated based on urkun software which is government of india purchase on behalf we all paying crore of rupees and through inflip net as i told the university having to a form they will apply and they will get it and since you are affiliated any other university maybe barasa state university maybe others even if your university is not extending support to you all don't worry you just drop your mail and uh, pdf file or what file to me i will check and send back to you what else there so please don't try to uh, step out for purchasing any software you may purchase but to me it is nothing but wastage of money no i'm not i'm not saying that a college will purchase but is is it possible for an individual teacher to purchase or student to purchase not required what i going to say not required because your basic essence is that to check your files okay yes, so once if it is done by freely by the same approved government of india approved ugc approved software urkund so why shall you yes. going to pay Urkun, Tanitin, Authenticate, these all are huge costing software. Why shall you going to pay? You send your file, drop to me, I will check it. So you will get it free. Okay, That's my intention. Okay, then if you, then it's up to you. If you purchase, you can purchase. Okay. okay sir. Thank then you, another sir. question. Another question. Someone is Devasis Bera. He is asking if any college have a research work, how can get the open software? See, as I told the same questions, uh, I may not repeat the answer full. Any, any, any college teachers of India, any scholars of India, they may send their file to Vishwarati, we will check it, and also they may send it to their parent university, so their university also check it. So there is no question how to get the software and how to, and they may not come to physically. Even they may send it to, uh, you see, mail, it will be checked and the report will be sent through mail. So nothing is there. So this is uh, Devasis Vera's question, another question. Thank you, sir, for the nice. Uh, sir, please arrange another webinar on OBS Studio in future. Definitely, we'll do it. From Vandana Kandelwal, very informative and fruitful session. Please share video recording of the session. Yes, we have our own YouTube channel. Through our YouTube channel, you all will be visualized and witness our kind of presentation. Okay, so don't worry. And also, uh, PowerPoint will be shared. Yeah. Yeah. concluding uh, remarks, I will say it. Okay. Any any more question? Any more question? Any more question? Uh no so i don't know what is living and non-living sources of information okay someone from monojit gorai most likely uh, monojit is at uh, our physical education research scholars most likely i don't know whether it is same person or not his question is living and non-living resources sources she uh, to uh, give address to monojit i think it will be a very interesting questions to you all Okay, I am listening echo. Okay, listening echo. Host, please, I am listening echo. Please, I am listening echo. Uh, see, actually, uh, yeah, see, stop it. <laughs> see, actually, by living, living and non-living resource. First, let you understand what is non-living source. Non-living source means printed and electronic verses of documents which do not have its own lives. Maybe books, journal articles, newspaper, pamphlets, and many things. In contrary, 
a person who has lives sometimes may appear to you as a kind of source of your literature because let's say i am doing a kind of work on uh, you know on work of uh, uh, health practices of tribal women in 21st century a particular area of birbhum district or puria district so you may not have some sort of literary history of women tribal women on their health practices and other things may be or may not be let's assume may not be so for that things you have to meet with different uh, tribal women may be educated may be businessman may be illiterate may be service holder may be wage earner then you have to interact with them and make a video make a audio and they are very loud to say their own language then you have to take some sort of bengali to or english to uh, to santali con uh, converter or translator then you will paraphrasing the idea to conceptualize the framework as introduction or maybe a literature review and other things so don't you think that without his or her or their contribution you cannot premise or chapterize your idea or conceptualize your problem so that's their name will not be come under acknowledgement because acknowledgement again i say on many many occasions not a part of academic recognition so academic recognition means you have to enlist them under deference and bibliography so right today throughout global we are fighting to develop a study uh, study how to citation style will be developed for the living bodies however you can give one picture then his or her mail id if it is then his or her mobile number if it is at least his or her photo um, uh, id and address and their other card number or the voter id number so that anyone can locate his expertise anyone can feel free of next gen scholars to meet with him or her for getting a particular resources which he or she may not be able to publish by his or her own uh, intelligent uh, intellectual input or output so they may meet with them so that's why it is called living sources so this should be a proper citation like non living resources i think monojit you will get clear it on and if further doubt you can ask me later on yeah someone is asking about irins irins is a say due to shortage of time just may i request you to go through the irins website and you just explore there is nothing caricature there is nothing programming and other things just it will take one hour and sometimes you go it and you know it if you found any problem feel free to contact with me i will make you clear that time uh, so i don't found any uh, more questions if there is any participants to ask me any questions through audio please uh, mute please unmute and then ask me the question question uh okay so i don't think there is not much question is there any signal first yes can i ask one question yeah, yeah. can you just introduce yourself i am dr aniruddh barman from university btl evening college which we have okay i mean a teacher training section here okay okay Actually, it's Please. not really related to your presentation today one of the okay. presentations earlier Because okay. one of my scholars, uh, uh, he is in the process of writing his uh, thesis. Now, okay. Uh, it will be in the MLA style. Now we want to okay. confirm whether like everything has been correct or not. So I think someone suggested that there is a software through which we can you know, clearly check whether it is uh, written in MLA style or not. Can you please uh, highlight on this? Okay. So uh, you know what is his status? Whether he or she is already. uh prepare the reference list yes prepare the reference list yes how how he make it what typing he he's uh, he's in the process of writing at the moment 
Okay. Uh, I, I think I think uh, you can directly ask me to contact with me. Okay. And uh, okay. definitely I will say you something how to do it. Uh, if it is possible, you make him clear or I may uh, make him clear or I can also have a telecontact with you to make it more clear. Right now, let me just clear. Uh, as my colleagues, two of my colleagues is given to online uh, software demonstration that is Mendeley and Jotico. I don't think this last stage that scholar will be able to download and steering that things with that software. If it is, then fine enough. That's the uh, uh, option, one answer. Okay. But in the MS Office Word version, there is a top in the uh, toolbar, you will get web uh, toolbar, you will get reference. One option is there as references. So I would suggest you and your scholar to, to make prepare reference list by using that reference option. Soon after going there, uh, reference option, you will get insert citation. Soon after clicking insert citation, you will get option based on which citation sign, MLA, APA, Chicago, and there are more, 13 options are there. So we can opt MLA. Since you are going to opt for MLA, you can choose MLA. Then soon after you opting, it will give you a kind of window where you have to write author, where you have to write uh, publishers, where you have to write title, publication year, page number, and and and. and. Then you just make it okay, okay, okay. Let's say in a chapter you are having 10 or 20 uh, citations. So the pointer you have to fix up after that particular line or that particular para. So index citation will be done by the machine itself. Then at the end of the chapter, you will come down and click insert bibliography option. Then it will give all 20 list as bibliography following MLA style. If you want to change, no, no, I don't think MLA is good. I want to have it. APA. So if you choose APA, it will take a second to change it APA. If you want to have it convert into Chicago, it will take one second to change it Chicago. Then in this way, one chapter, two second chapter, third chapter, fourth chapter, fifth chapter, we will do it. And I advise these things to my scholars and to my Vishwadhi uh, scholars. Please do it on initial stage if you are not able to much competent on Jotero and, and Mendeley like that. It's very handy because that you, you, your scholars need to type that things. So I request he or she may write the items by using reference, then insert citation, then bibliographical window will be given, then he will be insert particular item against a particular item. So then it will be done and citation will come and then a reference list will be automatically prepared. And that particular reference, you will make copy and paste in different chapters and different areas. And also it will be very easy to make the bibliography list at the end. So I, I, I'm just giving this answer by this short time. If there is any doubt, please call me and note my number 943454. Yeah, that is there already, I think. Okay, in the okay. email, your so, number is given. Sir. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you may contact with me or you please ask your scholar to contact with me. This is full free uh, consultancy because we all are living for Greater Bengal, Greater India. So sir, don't think that you are Kujbiyar, the Panthanam Bhavarma University, I am Mr. Bharati. Our basic duty is to escalate the quality of resource, research, no more. If I am coming to a little bit help to your scholars and to your uh, uh, thesis formation work, I will be happy to. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, uh, any more question? So I think there is no more questions and we are going to be by one, I am just going to wind up. So can I uh, request at least two, three person, those who are mostly attended our sessions, to uh, two, three minutes or one minute, say something about our first session, first round session of webinar. Definitely you will submit your feedback through our online feedback form. Still, uh, I like to listen something audio mode because it is going to be recording and this will be published in the recording mode. So please, uh, two, three persons, I am very keen to listen from you all, how your total observation about my first round webinar, since this is the last uh, webinar. Can anybody? Yes, can I, sir? Yeah. Just introduce uh, yourself, then start. I am Dr. Aniruddha Borman from University yeah, of okay. Indian College, which we are. Okay. Uh, we are extremely thankful to Vishwavarathi Library Network for conducting such a series of webinars. Uh, for most of us, it would have been really difficult to gather so much information. So 
some of us may have known a bit yes uh, but uh, more so was some beautiful presentations we had so that was very important very important was the interactive sessions we learned a lot and we are also thankful to all of you that uh, you have given us a scope so that we can interact with you later on and we can get so much of help from you that would have been impossible otherwise maybe because of lockdown situation uh, things uh, we have got this so much of help maybe this is a boon in disguise for all of us that we have learned so much and uh, we are really thankful that when you give your uh, ppt presentations later on and when it comes to youtube will more and more people will be helped and uh, in any case i'd like to request once again that right. if you if you can kindly organize another series of lectures uh, we right. have not been able to attend some of these because they were basically for uh, the inmates of vishwavarathi the federative vishwavarathi right. uh, we would be helped more in case if you can and thank you once again for all of you for giving such wonderful presentations and taking this initiative to help so many of us thank you sir okay thank you uh, uh, anyone more anybody yeah yeah please uh, introduce yourself and uh, 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 dr nimai chand saha i am chinmay mukhopadhyay from st javier's college library you know me oh my friend from arambagh <laughs> yes yes and uh, uh, please uh, first of all i would uh, like to convey my regards uh, my deep regards my holiest regard to kobi guru rabindranath tagore from under which umbrella you are uh, doing this uh, great job uh, i am listening i have been listening uh, uh, so far as the limitation is concerned because i am outside of the vv fraternity so i have to i have to attend seven lectures and uh, throughout the lectures everybody from uh, ajoy sir to um, up to you actually matter is that uh, when leader is okay that is where uh, is uh, may i uh, as i know you better that uh, that's why i am telling you that as, as leader is the best then the team must be best so this is my perception about this thing this endeavor i am uh, i have been listening i have enriched myself as uh, because you know uh, we are uh, very old uh, students of uh, mlib student and in those days there is no so art development in our right. uh, science uh, 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 curriculum so you True. are struggling you uh, acquired that chair uh, in a very efficient and effective way so my best regards to you and also to ajoy sir and uh, sujit kujur sir who are at the background they have also demonstrated their respective uh, reference management tools and uh, the parthu sir uh, all of right. you and uh, one sir is there mujumdar sam mujumdar is there sir nam prasad mujumdar uh, he has conducted uh, koha this space is excluded because it is very light, time limit koha is not cannot be uh, uh, right. totally demonstrated in this time so this right. must be discarded i hope uh, uh, nimai uh, sir as i am talking it in the public forum so i right have to introduce uh, right. address you as well, sir so nimai i uh, i request nimai sir to uh, uh, in future to uh, arrange some uh, this sort of webinar so that uh, uh, so many people in sure. women can enrich themselves and also their enrichment means to the enrichment of the society at large again i am conveying my deep regards to kobi guru rabindranath tagore and this auspicious month is for his birthday and also the whole vv fraternity vv uh, library network fraternity i convey my regards to you that's all thank you thank you okay thank you dr mukhopadhyay now may i expect one female voice may i expect one female voice most likely no so anyone uh, hello yeah yeah please please ma'am good afternoon sir yeah yeah please introduce yourself uh, sir i am a research scholar uh, sir i am a research scholar from the social work department i am anamika basu and yeah. sir uh, though i could not attend all of them because uh, for my poor connectivity at my place in shimla however the classes i have attended were extremely informative and 
today's class was like i was struggling to find the books and i was so happy right. that you gave me one of the sites where i could right. do that and uh, right. maybe if i had better connectivity and better chances i could have seen all of them and i really wish i get another opportunity to do so thank you so much sir okay 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 so uh, one more option is left in my hands can anybody eager to tell something dr samuna thaldar hello yeah yeah please madam hello yeah yes i am dr samuna mujumdar i am librarian of sir gurudas mahavidyalaya kolkata and ah. i have been attending your webinar and right. i am very thankful to the organizers as well as uh, the dignitaries like you who have given a lot of in insight into the world of library science into its development once again in a very good and interactive manner and i am very thankful to you and i hope that after the lockdown is over uh, these types of webinars will continue to happen so that we <laughs> get some professional professional development avenue from your side and it is not yet possible for us uh, for me actually to visit your place uh, and to meet you uh, but still in many seminars i have uh, already listened to you and so getting you once again in such a webinar is a very uh blessed is a uh, blessing for me and i hope for the next uh, this type of webinars i'll be attending get the scope to attend again thank you so much to the visitor organization for conducting the webinar thanks thanks a lot thanks a lot okay thank you madam any more hello sir yeah please Sir, myself, Sekhar Jyoti Neo from uh, Guwahati University. Actually, I am a research scholar and I am also okay. working as assistant librarian of Mahapurusha Srimanta Sankardeva Vishwavidyale, Naugaha Yeah, welcome, brother. Uh, we are very thankful to uh, the Vishwavati Library Network for organizing such an in, uh, informative uh, webinar. Actually, we right. are extremely uh, enriched with such initiative and I hope uh, as we couldn't attend all the sessions, uh, as some of the sessions were meant only for the Vishwavarti fraternity. So uh, if uh, you can organize uh, some uh, time later uh, so, so, so sessions uh, to open for all, then we'll be very much helpful and uh, uh, happy. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We'll keep in my mind. Yeah, we'll keep in my mind. Thank you, sir. Okay. Anybody? Uh, I think no. Good Dr. Samuna Khaldar? Yeah, please. Uh, myself, Dr. Shantanu Dash from Sudhusar Mahavidyalaya, Shiliguri. Okay. Uh, sir, I want to uh, congratulate the Vishwabharati Library Network for organizing this wonderful session. I have attended the six sessions. Uh, the all the session uh, by you, by Ajoy sir, by Sujit sir, by Parthu sir was excellent. Uh, we get really enriched from all the sessions. Sir, no one thing I want to, apart from these uh, sessions, I want to uh, ask something to you. Uh, the thing okay. is that, sir, uh, <clears throat> as a college librarian, we don't ha have access to Urkund right now. Right, so, right. Uh, so, so the, but the thing is for, you know that sir, for our CAS and other research work, we need to write different articles. So right. can we get the facilities from the Ishwarati Library Network that we can send the research papers and you uh, check it for us, then it will be helpful for us. 100%. 100%. We are waiting for that. Okay. okay sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. No Thank issue. You. Because you see, as I told uh, throughout my lecture, that it's our basic duty to escalate and to extend our cooperation since we are living in the Gurudev Tagore's campus to uh, extend our big hands to the rural India. Those who are asking, we are also having some sort of limitation, but you are hard lagging behind me. That's why you are asking. So definitely, you send it and have a contact with me and please keep uh, in touch with us. Okay, okay. so we will do it. And if any college that Professor Anirudha Barman sir and that Suchishmita Mujumdar sir and you, madam, and you too, all I am also requesting if you organize any special session based on this webinar and uh, any physical mode after this, uh, uh, long after this COVID situation, 
if you invite us, definitely we will be go there to enlighten your academics so that it will be a kind of uh, acceleration policy. Okay. No, uh, we, have a, we, we, have, have, uh, we have a plan uh, to afford a uh, session. So uh, yeah. I will definitely invite you and your network stuff. Okay, sir. Uh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Sir. No, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. So, uh, any more? Yes, I don't. Yeah, please. So myself, so much as librarian, SFS Mohavidyalaya, Khaira Shulbi Bhum. Yes, welcome, please. Yes, sir. So first of all, I am very much thankful to you for giving me the information regarding the webinar series, yes. which is conducted by Vishwarthi Library Network. And mm. uh, with it, I want to convey my heartfelt gratitude to Vishwarthi Library Network for conducting such a webinar series, which is full of very much informative, very much helpful. And really, we are very much enriched through the webinar series. And with it, sir, uh, I want to request uh, if one more session that is, uh, uh, if, if it is possible for you to conduct, uh, how can we organize in our college uh, to webinars, uh, um, seminar through webinar series uh, using WebEx or uh, Zoom or Loom? Uh, if, if, if it will be very much helpful for us if it is. Uh, Okay, it will be done. For you it will just it. take 10 minutes business. Uh, even that may not be uh, convenient any webinar, any session. By 10 minutes tele tele talk, it will be you will be master on that. Okay, my team, I will ask them. They Thank will do you, it, sir. and uh, yeah, you will do it. Yes, sir. And uh, are you planning to say something? Yes, yes, yes. Shatabdi, see, see, he's. Uh, she is laughing. I see her. <laughs> <laughs> She's high. So much. High. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any more? Uh, please. Uh, yes, sir. thank you, sir, for these uh, very all the sessions are very much informative, and we are really thankful to you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I don't think uh, uh, anybody is very keen to wait to say something. So please lock the take a part of inter uh, interaction from the participants, and just uh, give hello. me. Uh, yeah, please. Hello. Uh, please. Yeah, hello, welcome. Dr. Uh, Shah. Ha. Yeah, please. Uh, myself, myself Shambhuna Thaldar. Yeah, uh, I am asking you. Thank you so much oh, for please. taking such an initiative. I have heard yeah. and enriched almost all of your webinars. Hopefully, our professional okay. colleagues will be benefited from particip participating in such seminar. Thank you. Thank you so much. OK. Thank you, Dr. Haldar. So with the with the opinion from Dr. Halda, let me close for taking the uh, the uh, opinion from the uh, participants, which has been started. Now let me give some sort of uh, observation based on your observation. Uh, at the very outset, Professor Bormon, Aniruddha Bormon, uh, and most of Dr. Chinmay Mukhopadhyay, and then Sujeshan Mahavidyalay librarian, and then Sujishmita Madam, then Somo Josh, then uh, this uh, Dr. Halda. Uh, actually, we are very pleased to listen some sort of encouraging sentence from you all because you see the academic fraternity, particularly library people, are fighting for getting some sort of encouragement and motivation and moral. So I think your words will be recorded for a lifetime in the history of Vishwabharati and which will be helped to my library colleagues to take it as a motivational factor for organizing second repeat session very soon. And yes, of course. Uh, second very session will be uh, confined for VB fraternity and also for outsiders. And on request from any outsiders, definitely we will make any special session on that. And for any college, if they want to organize any session, if they want to keep us a kind of a speaker, I don't say resource person, my team member will be ready to uh, do so. And also what Somo Joss is going to request, that AK Cisco AVX uh, training. Uh, after uh, installation of that, my team and me also are uh, mm -hmm. kind enough to advise him to conduct this kind of webinar by using Cisco and other things. Only one thing, my basic zeal to propagate you all, because this is a mixture audience of scholars, library professionals, and library science teachers, and teachers of other subjects across India. Please share. Because if we share, we will be halfway there. Our ultimate aim is to reach our destination. So please share and please cooperate with us. Definitely, we will try to do something for you all. And 
our second session second repeat session most likely will be starting from first june first week of june or last week of may like that because many sessions already from many very department of visual is going to organize i don't know when i will be getting the slot and many publishers that like that rackster and one one session will be uh, happens to be done uh, tomorrow tomorrow that is that will be done by wiley so in the in the whatsapp group and through your mail i will send the link anyone if you intend to participate because we are also inviting many publishers to 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 uh, educate our scholars to aware our scholars to train our scholars and faculty members for uh, better and more and more access our uh, resource their resources okay and for which i am receiving much questions and observation through my whatsapp mail and chat box regarding certificate as far as our uh, notification was concerned definitely by reading that notification you found that visuality live network will give you certificate on full participation if you are b category participant after participating all the seven session or five sessions whatever mark as b you will get it and for visuality all 11 session was open to participate they will get for a category certificate whatever they have participated and c for library professionals they are also having b category option also c category option so all together by advised from my university authority at least five sessions those who have participated more than 30 minutes a session not that several days i found that uh, two minute three minutes and someone is logging and chair is vacant my host is taking the picture so that is very cumbersome to disseminate certificate because you know this is the negative side of the webinar uh, the webinar is a category of <laughs> knowledge but gathering low knowledge and uh, considering that things we have a strategical decision that at least 30 minutes and five session is imperative to attend the session now let me more clear and specify that if anyone is uh, attending 10 session definitely he will be given or she will be given two certificates because you know for api scoring one hour certification is meaningless one day national seminar two day national seminar and fdp program for five days seven days that was our scoring position in the uh, in the api format so five session only will escalate or approve our evident as one day national seminar like that we are trying to do that hopefully that will be accepted by the different iqsc and api our ultimate aim is also to get you some sort of number for your api promotion and other things cash promotion and other things but i don't want to have that kind of situation i will give you one certificate and your authority and your iqsc and dpi nominee and higher authority will uh, not consider that things so one hour uh, certification will not make any sense for api scoring because this 10 or 11 if you attended so you will get 11 into 30 11 into 3 means 33 number so your promotion is over from uh, this 11 days so that's not the true picture so at least 4 years or 5 years or 6 years period you have to have uh, you have to attend you have to present paper and other things and your uh, api score paper and your format you just cash promotion format is very much emphatic and clear on that so don't mix on that so we will disseminate certificate based on feedback received from you too that is also our strategic game that unless uh, 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 feedback we are receiving um, uh, our certificate giving will be troublesome maybe one day two day afterwards we'll uh, receive it and through mail we will give you e certificate don't worry if anyone is not getting that certificate even after having five sessions attending and 30 minutes attending please contact with my host Uh, mr ajay kumar sharma and mr sujit kumar gujur they will take care about that maybe some fault from my side too still uh, we will uh, repair the gap if any from my side so don't worry about certificate we will give you a paper which will help you to your future academic journey that's our ultimate goal and ultimate aim not that i will give you one paper you will be victim and your authority will not considered and you will plan that yes i am attending this much of webinar i will earn this much of number but i have a discussion with uh, two three dpi nominee particularly in my state they are very much clear on that because nowadays every day after this hour uh, after this session uh, from 2 pm uh, many of you are aware, aware that mpl is going to uh, organize one expert seminar panel discussion from different uh, association president and secretary like that 
So I have, I, I may attend. So I don't think that one hour attendance will make a sense of one day certificate like that because promotional avenues is emerged with one day, not the webinar. And in future, definitely considering this, uh, this, this, you know, cash promotion and this COVID period, we have to customize the form. Then definitely we'll give it and we will enlist the day and the session, the day and the session that will be enlisted in the certificate. And that's why we are going to design it very special manner and fashion. Okay, so don't worry with that. And we uh, put to conclude and we put to say bye, say Tata or bye bye. I am really thankful being a leader of the uh, library to my entire team, those who have extended their support from big, big, big background. That is none other than Mr. Ajay Kumar Sharma and Mr. Sujit Kujur. They have played twin role this 11 day every time and before 11 day through our simulation effect. This Kisco WebEx software, they are uh, expert and they are, they are, they are uh, having their uh, efforts a lot. And also they are taking a session on their respective days. So let me extend my heartfelt gratitude and deep regards for them. And also I am highly solicit same cooperation in future course of journey as you are all asking me to organize repeat session. So without their cooperation, I cannot start. So let me extend my deep regards to my uh, colleagues. Then uh, the resource person or speaker, my colleagues, those who have imparted themselves and deputed themselves and disseminate their expertise through their, their respective session, all of them, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of them, one and all, and also the staff, those who have indirectly associated with this, all the permanent staff, outsourcing staff, Mahadal outsourcing staff, those who are you know, taking care for organizing these things a success. Everyone, I would like to uh, extend my heartfelt gratitude. And last but not least, I would like to extend my gratitude to my university authority, my Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Vidhu Chakraborty sir, my Honorable Acting Registrar Professor Asa Mukherjee, and also uh, Stop Gap Registrar Mr. Asa Kumar Mahato, my university uh, join all joint registered administration and joint registered accounts and joint registered academic research and joint registered development, joint registered examination, joint registered establishment, and all assistant registers, all section officers, all staff, officers, professors, academic, principal, director. Without their cooperation, it was next to impossible to me to hear to speak before you all. And like a heart of a human body, without the audience, by 48 hours, I am receiving 330 registration. And generally what we would not have done, we have locked the registration uh, on 29th of uh, 12 noon like that. So I'm very sorry, many persons, more than 700 persons, they are very keen to attend this session. Actually, I would not have this kind of uh, the idea that my this kind of uh, webinar session will flourish this kind of impact. So I'm very sorry and definitely I will attend. So today's every session, those who is witnessing uh, right now, I am having 64 uh, participants. Let me extend this 64 and another 38, altogether 102 or five today I am found. So let me extend all of them, those who have attended this session and more pending to them, those who have not yet been logged in after having uh, trying from 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So I am extremely sorry and really, uh, really expect their cooperation from my next session. So with these few words, uh, my learned colleagues, learned audience, academics, research scholars, library colleagues, library science teachers, library professionals, Vishwabharati colleagues, please, please, and please be with the Vishwabharati Library Network and please extend your support to go and to work in our future course of academic journey at any college. Any teacher, any scholars, don't forget to uh, say any request regarding Urkund or any research needs. We will be, uh, feedback of my colleagues, my host is uh, uh, reminding me that soon after the session, everyone will receive the feedback link, which is uh, designed from Google form link. Please submit it by today so that it will be help us to 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 you know uh, design our certification and by uh, another two three days don't worry you will get it if you not you are not getting by uh, three days definitely contact with my host also you can contact with my whatsapp i will get it so last but not least 
my uh, my emotion and my personal feelings is not able to stop it by watch by time by reality by considering the grounds reality including you all i am also having hunger to take our lunch in our respective places and residences and quarters wherever it is and mess or rented house wherever it is so please have a nice lunch everyone for you all and stay home stay safe stay secure and hope for best very soon we will be able to come out from the pandemic covid 19 and basically i am praying betterment for our gurudev rabindra chegor and to our almighty for the safe globe safe humanity and safe environment stay safe stay secure all the best thank you very much so let us now thank quit you. and leave one by one thank you ajay is there anything thank you limaida actually i found some participants already in that question uh, feedback form even before the session the completion of the session so i am requesting you all those who have already submitted the feedback can uh, can edit the feedback honestly as because it is you know the uh, before the session it may be possible to give the feedback for all the session so i found some participants have already submitted all the uh, feedback for all the session so kindly edit that and uh, fill the honest uh, honestly feedback so thank you thank you very much